Storm Team 29 forecast. On the alert for possible flash flooding later on today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. The Nash Weather Service has issued another flash flood watch for the central Shenandoah Valley and most of central Virginia from noon today through late tonight. So watch those flood prone areas closely during and after heavy rain. But right now the weather is quiet. The atmosphere has rained itself out from yesterday. So here's a peek outside live from the top of Wintergreen along the Blue Ridge Mountains. Lots of sunshine above the fog. We are seeing some areas of dense fog in the valley and central Virginia this morning. Right now temperatures are rising through the 60s and the low 70s and radar recap shows that supercell thunderstorm. That's a long track rotating severe thunderstorm storm. It did cause quite a bit of damage and flooding as it came out of Rockingham, Augusta County, cross over grottos on the Blue Ridge Mountains and into Albemarle County and then dissipated once it shifted east of Louisa. But it did pack a punch producing as much as six inches of rain over northwest Albemarle County. Now to put that into perspective, that's about two months worth of rain in only two hours. So the ground is waterlogged. It wouldn't take much in the way of more storms to cause a new high water risk. And there's that track of damage from Augusta, Rockingham into Albemarle, Green, Orange, Louisa counties. Look at that swath of 21 reports of damage, trees down, hail, officially no reports of tornadoes, but the Weather Service may investigate that later today and come back to see if it was either straight line wind damage or microburst or if it was rotating twisting winds in the tornado. But look at the hail damage in Earliesville. Yeah, it, the hail was so large, as big as eggs in some cases and quarters, that it knocked the leaves off the trees up in this vicinity of uh, Albemarle County. And uh, yeah, so there goes the fall foliage, right? At least in that part of the county with the trees damaged and those winds up to 60 plus miles per hour. Right now, radar is dry. Later today, a new shower and storm will form on future cast anytime, any place. This afternoon through about sunset, you could have a heavier thunderstorm. The next big thing though I'm watching is a more stable atmosphere for the weekend. Somewhat drier air will arrive tomorrow into Sunday with a hotter weather pattern. For today though, in the low and mid 80s, a shower and storm will form by this evening in scattered areas. Overnight, they fade away after midnight lows in the 60s. Saturday, only an isolated thunder shower chance. Daytime highs mid to upper 80 Charlottesville to Stanton, all points in between. Otherwise, partly sunny and humid. A little drier on your Sunday, Michael and Sun 70 forecast shows us low 90s on Sunday and Monday and a new thunderstorm risk mid to late week, low 90s in the day and 70s overnight. Now this